we've got this robot here in the red spot and we have to define moves by pointing in a direction and, and moving a distance. And we're gonna do that in four moves from here to there. So I'm gonna sketch it out first and then I'm gonna design vectors that match those sketches. So let's see. From here, I wanna end up somewhere that might work right there. And again, there's more than one solution to this. Let's say I'm gonna go with that vector right there. And then from there, I gotta get across this way. So maybe I'm gonna go right there. And then from there, we gotta get over this way so I can see that next dot. So anywhere I can see it is good. So let's say I go there. And then finally, come here <clears throat> to that point right there. And again, we have to, the commands are going to be turn degrees and move, and the angles are going to be measured in degrees with positive angles turning counterclockwise. So the regular way we measure angles from trigonometry. So for this first one right here, again, we're going to measure angles from this like polar axis. We've talked about that before. And so I just figure out what that angle is. So what do I know about the vector I drew? Well, the vectors I all drew, I drew as rectangular vectors. I was thinking about getting point to point. That's what I was thinking about. So we have to then just make some notes about what my point to point directions are. So uh, here I'm going over one, two, three, four, and up one, two, three, four. Okay, so I accidentally picked a very nice one to do. Um, so I can see this right here, this first green one would be the vector oops, four, four. And I need to know for that vector, what is that angle right there? And what is that distance right there? So I just need to rewrite it in polar form. So the polar form for that vector, uh, the radius is just the Pythagorean theorem, square root of four squared plus four squared. And then the angle, uh, in this case works out nice because it is um, uh, just an angle in the first quadrant there. So that's just going to be the arc tangent of four over four, which is the arc tangent of one, and the arc tangent of one is pi over four. And let's see, do we want these in degrees? We want these in degrees. Okay. So my calculator would translate that because I keep my cal calculator in uh, radian mode. Uh, so although I would rather say this is pi over four radians, here, we're going to call it 45 degrees. So then for my first thing, we're going to move. Let's see, what's that going to be? Um, that's going to be two uh, square roots of uh, 16, right? So that's going to be, let's see if I get that right. 16 plus 16, so we're going to have square root of 2 times 16. Square root of 16 is 4, so that's going to be 4 times the square root of 2. So I'm going to move 4, square root of 2, uh, and we're going to turn 45 degrees. And that's going to put me at this new point right here. All right, so for that point, I got to figure out, okay, so that's my new starting point. What am I going to do from there? Well, from there, I need to go down one, two, three, four, five, six. Vector. And I need to go right one, two, three, four, five to get to there. So my vector from there is the vector five, negative six. So we need to translate that into a distance and an angle, just like before. So R is going to be the square root five squared plus six squared. Let's see, what's that? 25 and 36 is 61, I think. That sound right? 25 and 36 is 50, 61. Yeah, square root of 61. And then the angle here, um, if I do uh, arc tan negative 6 over 5, that's going to give me a negative angle. And I want to get that angle in degrees. So I got to look out a calculator for that angle. But that's the exact version of the angle if I put my calculator in degree mode. Note, let's see, the homework system here for the turn. Oh, they did the turn first. 
Um, I have to enter a number, so I do need a calculator. So let's go to Desmos. And when I use the arctangent in um, Desmos, like let's say uh, the arctangent of um, uh, one, like I had before, it's giving me this number right here and that number right there is pi over four, right? So my calculator is in radian mode. I'd rather not switch it to degree mode. So when I do this negative six over five, after I'm gonna to have to multiply that by 180 over pi to convert. And so I get about negative 50.19. How many decimal places did it ask for here? Anybody see a rounding rule? I'm going to guess two decimal places are okay. So again, I think it's going to be about negative 50.19, and that looks reasonable on my picture. It's more than 45 degrees down. So two, and again, the computer said you return first, and then move, which makes sense for floppies. So I'm going to turn negative, I think it was 50.19 roughly. And then I'm going to move, and it's going to want the decimal version of the square of 61. I'll get that in a minute. By order. It's not confusing. And really, the robot does need to turn before it moves. That is important. Not move, then turn. So turn 45 degrees. Move in my version for. All right, next one, what do we got? So for the next one, I have to go over how far? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have vector ten horizontal and vertical is one, two, three, four, five, six, it looks like. So then let's do it in the other way. The turn is going to be the arctan of six tenths. I'm not worried about reducing that because I'm going to use a calculator. And the move is the square root of 10 squared plus six squared. That's going to be the third one. Calculations. Place six tenths gives me thirty point nine six decimal places. And again, that is going to be a positive rotation there. Uh oh, I have an error. See my error. Yeah, check it out. See my error now. So uh, let's see. Uh, assuming the robot, the robot is initially facing in this way right here. I told him to turn forty-five degrees, and so he is currently, when he gets to that point and moves, however that distance is, he's currently currently pointing in that direction right there. Um, <laughs> the turn he has to make to go this way right here. I calculated this part of the turn. But he actually has to turn from where he was facing. So in this case, he has to turn a combination of those two. So the turn is actually the undoing the previous turn and that new additional turn I have. So my second turn right here in red is actually going to have to be a negative 45 combined with the negative 51.9. So Let's uh, back this up just a little bit. Move this stuff. So my turn two is going to be uh, a negative 95.19. And so at that point, I now, when I get to this point right there, my robot is facing in this direction right here. 
And so to get him facing in this new green direction, I have to undo that 51.19. So I'm always going to need the previous turn to back him up and then the, the new uh, vector's turn to go with it. So my turn three here is going to be the previous calculation, which was the arctan of negative six fifths. That's about um, negative 50.19. I need to undo that. So that's going to be positive 50.19. And then I want to add on to that further positive that 30 points to 30.96. And this combination is my new term. So what's that going to be? A, a six hundredths, eight tenths, one degree. It's going to be an 81.86 degree turn to get from this direction to that direction right there. So now my robot is at this point and facing that direction right there. I need to undo the last turn, which would be a negative 30.96. And then I have to calculate this new turn to get in the direction of the end point here. So my last vector, one, two, three, four, five. And then down, one, two, three, four. So the additional turn I have to make there, that's a down four, it's going to be the arctan of negative four fifths. And then the move is going to be the square roots of five squared plus four squared. Okay, so I got to calculate the last couple of moves and that new angle. This is a fun problem to solve. So let's see, what's my last? It was negative four fifths for my next new angle. So that's going to be negative 38.66. So for my fourth, I have to undo that turn of 30.96. And then keep going in that negative direction, 38.66. So this is my last turn. And then my last two moves That's the square root is 10 squared, plus 6 squared is one of them. Eleven point six six color. Last move square root of four squared plus five squared about six point four zero. Other ones, first two moves, square root of four squared, plus four squared, five point six six ish. Square roots five squared plus six squared seven point eight one. Physical, not thinking. 